I found the best tool brand for woodworking in 2023. I tested all of these tools over the last year or so. Here's my opinion. I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of each brand. I'll give you the, my top pick at the end and then stick around because I got some more info that you wanna hear. And when I make my pick, don't run off just because it's not your brand. Let me plead my case. And at the end, you can let me know how wrong I was in the comments. Ryobi is very attractive, especially to beginners and those on a budget, but I don't think they are the best for woodworking in 2023, although they are a strong pick. The pros of the Ryobi system, I'm trying to say their name right. The pros of the Ryobi system is the fact that they have so many tools on this 18 volt platform. They have basically anything you can think of, 260 something plus tools that you can choose from and you can just walk into any Home Depot and grab those tools. That is a huge bonus, which I actually detailed in depth on my haters guide to Ryobi. That video will be linked in the description if you wanna check it out after this. This is a strong brand, but the cons of Ryobi are the fact that their table saw isn't all that great and their miter saw isn't all that great. And some of these tools are underpowered. I purchased a complete Ryobi kit to test out and try. This little circular saw that come with the kit, not very good, it's underpowered. It's too small to realistically use for woodworking. And then later on, as I developed a relationship with Ryobi, they sent me one of their seven and a quarter saws. This is a really nice saw. This is a very nice saw. Now, the router is very good. Although I didn't really care for the top heaviness of this one, they sent me one that was the more modern version. It's much more balanced. Overall, if you went with Ryobi, you're fine. It's not that big of a deal, but you're going to have to branch out when you start looking at the bigger tools like table saws and miter saws, etc. One of my favorite Ryobi tools is actually this Airstrike 18 gauge nailer. This thing's fantastic. I, I like this tool. I use it quite often here in the shop. So if you're in the Ryobi system, I don't think that you should say, oh, I gotta sell all this stuff, it's not any good. They're really good tools for what you're paying for them. Although they're not my pick for 2023's best. If you've looked at Ryobi, you've probably looked at Rigid because they're in the same store there at Home Depot. I personally bought Rigid starting out for one reason and one reason only. Well, two reasons. One, they were within my budget. Two is because of that lifetime service agreement. That is a very strong determining factor when you start looking at buying tools for your shop. And I had to use it after five years of use and abuse of this router right here. It went up in smoke on camera actually and was kind of cool to catch it on camera. It still smells like smoke, even though I've already had it serviced, but that is one of the great things about the LSA. I took it to the local shop here in town and they, they fixed it. They put a new motor in it, it's back in business. That's hard to beat when you start looking at the rigid line. They also have planers, they have miter saws, they have table saws, and all of those are decent quality tools. Rigid is a strong contender to be one of the best that you can get in 2023, especially with the recent addition of this rigid track saw. I did a review on it recently. This is a very strong contender of a track saw if you're already in the platform for under $400, right at $399. If you're not in the platform, buy a battery and a charger, plus an extra track, you're looking at five to $600. Still a good strong contender, a good solid track saw that works very well. So that puts them in a really good place for woodworkers. And they have other tools such as leaf blowers and all kinds of stuff to go along with your rigid battery plan. One of the most recent contenders is Flex Tools. They come on the scene about three-ish years ago, give or take, and have been coming on strong with a lot of tools. And a lot of their tools are very highly rated as far as power goes and efficiency. They got some technology, they claim 200% more power versus the competition. We'll find out if that's true in an upcoming video. I purchased this router myself just a few weeks ago and just unpacking it and seeing the features that it has built in and the accessories they send with it is quite impressive. But I personally don't think they are the tool brand for most people in 2023 because of the tool selection. Because they are so new, they just can't compete with the mass of tool selection that the other bigger brands have at this point. Although they do have some really nice tools. And while I am a huge fan of Festool tools, I have several of their tools. I think they are some of the best tools made. I don't necessarily think that they are the best tool brand in 2023 if you're just going with one brand because of tool selection. While they do have some amazing tools like the track saw, I love this track saw, it's my favorite. The Capex miter saw is also fantastic, although very expensive and not really worth that much money. 
They also have the Domino, which nobody else has. They also have one of the best sanders ever made, the ETS-125. This is by far my best favorite sander that I've ever owned. Pair it with that dust extractor and it can't be beat in my opinion. I know a lot of people like the Merca. I like the 3M sander that I had. It was a fantastic, is a fantastic sander. I still got it. But this is the one for fine detail sanding that I'm gonna grab every single time. So those specific tools make them great, but they're not the go-to brand for most people because of tool selection. Take their drill and driver sets. They're wildly more expensive than any other brand. And from what I can tell on reviews, they are also underpowered versus some of the other ones. So I don't necessarily think I would go with that brand for if I'm just going one brand for my shop. Although, this is amazing. We can't forget about Bosch. Bosch is a very big tool company. They have a lot of different types of tools from miter saws to routers to cordless tools. This router, the 1617, I did a review on this versus the DeWalt a while back. This is one of my favorite routers that I own. I have one in the router table. This one here will be given away to our Two Before Nation members soon. If you're not a member of that, you can check out the description below for more information. I think Bosch is a very good tool brand for a lot of people, especially in their routers and their miter saws. They make fantastic tools. Bosch may be a very strong contender for the best tool for your shop in 2023, but there are some other considerations that you should think about first. Makita is also another tool brand that deserves consideration when you're looking for the best of 2023. They make, in a lot of people's opinion, the best track saw on the market. For most people. They also have a very good miter saw that's priced well below the Festool Capex. I even did a comparison video on those two and ended up sticking with the Festool just because I'm a Festool fanboy. I'll admit it. But the Makita was a very good option, although mine had a slight defect. But from what I understand, that, that is a rare occurrence. They also have a full line of cordless tools that are beloved around the world, and Makita makes some of the best tools you can buy. But are they the best of 2023? Now you may notice some tools missing from this list specifically Cobalt, Hart, Skill, Craftsman, those type tools. It's just because I haven't personally used them and tool selection. In other words, their selection of tools are much less than some of these others. I think in a lot of people's minds, the two top brands for most people are gonna be DeWalt and Milwaukee. And before I give my pick, when I give my pick, let me plead my case. I think you will probably see what I'm talking about. Milwaukee has a full line of tools. They have miter saws, table saws, they have track saw, they have sanders, they have routers. I mean, pretty much anything a woodworker would want, they have and they're adding to it. I recently discovered some secret, secret patents that they're coming out with some new woodworking stuff soon, probably. You can watch that video after this one. I found them, I dug deep and found them just for you. So you can go and check that video out and see what's coming from the Milwaukee line. And when you look at DeWalt, they have table saws. They also have one of the best bench top planers on the market in the DW735X. I've owned it for over five years. It is a rock star. It is a very good tool for most garage or small woodworking shops. They also have nice table saws that are affordable like this table saw. They also have several different variations of their cordless tools, such as the Atomic, the XR line, and several others. So you can get pretty much any woodworking tool you want from DeWalt. Truthfully, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these platforms so long as they have the tools you want. But if you're looking at a tool brand that has the best tool selection, then I think, in my personal opinion, it's going to be Milwaukee. Wait, don't, don't go away, I'm telling you, I can plead my case. I love the DeWalt tools, I love having them in the shop, I use them all the time. But over the last year, I've been buying more and more Milwaukee tools simply because they're catering to the woodworker in the last year. Check out what they've released just in the last year. They've released one of the best track saws I've ever used. It's only second to my Festool, probably only because I'm a Festool fanboy. You can get this entire kit on sale a lot of times for 15% off the regular price. You're gonna get the pack out, you get the track, you get the saw, you get a battery and a charger for under, right around 700, maybe a little under that. It's a very, very good deal for that tool. They also come out with a new, I think it's a three and a half inch electric planer. While I don't have that tool, it is for woodworkers or DIY construction. They also just announced a two and a quarter horsepower 
cordless router with a half inch and quarter inch collets just for us woodworkers. That's gonna be a game changer. I'm gonna order that as soon as it's available. And by far, my favorite woodworking tool that has been released in the last year that I use multiple times a week in the shop is this orbital detail sander from Milwaukee. It's a 12 volt. It works fantastic to get up into tight corners. I also use it for edge sanding because it comes with this interface pad that will not damage your uh, rounded over edges and things like that. The installation driver, while it's been out multiple years now, this is a four in one driver. I did a whole video on this thing. It is one of the most useful drills you can have in the shop for getting up into tight corners or installing hinges and cabinets and all kinds of stuff. Like it's just a really good tool to have. Milwaukee also has pack out. Now a lot of people hate pack outs because they say they're just overpriced plastic boxes. And I thought the exact same thing until I ordered the track saw and it came in this pack out box. When I got it, I was like, this thing kind of nice. I went ahead and picked up some more pack outs, these smaller boxes, these little bit bigger boxes, uh, also the wall storage, and it just really helped organize the shop. I also got this little rolling cart that is fantastic. A whole bank of drawers that I can store all kinds of stuff in. I keep my push sticks in there from the table saw. Also, when I'm working on a project, I can lay my drill and other parts on top of this little tiny workbench, and it's just super handy to have to roll around in the shop. While Flex does have their line of storage, DeWalt has a line of storage, Rigid has a line of storage, Ryobi has a line of storage. Nobody can compete with Milwaukee with the amount of storage options available. And the most important thing in my opinion is the aftermarket add-ons that you can purchase for Packout. There's tons of people selling them all over Etsy and everywhere else where you can get all sorts of add-ons to help rig out your storage exactly how you want it. I personally bought some of these Kaizen inserts. I did a poor job on cutting this one out, but it helps keep everything nice and secure and you can basically customize your storage needs to you. And the foam inserts came cut perfectly to fit in each pack out that I bought them for, whether it be these small organizers or even inside the drawers. With the exception of a couple of rigid tools and a couple of Ryobi tools, I bought all of these other than the Festool track saw, which was a gift from a very close friend. In 2023, I think it's almost pointless to try to stay in one battery platform because there's too many options. For instance, track saw Milwaukee, absolutely amazing. Track saw on Ryobi, not so much. So if you're in the Ryobi platform and you wanted a really good track saw, then you really have to step outside. You buy a quarter saw from a different brand if you wanted to. My personal opinion, I think the Milwaukee is the best for most people. Orbital Detail Sander. None of these other cordless tool brands have this except for a brief moment in time, Rikon had this amazing little tool and it's sold out since the day I made the video and it hasn't come back in stock. I don't think they're making it anymore, which is a shame. No matter what tool brand you go with, if you pick up a drill and you resist doing that, you have more discipline than Jacko Willink. So why did I buy all of these? Well, there's two reasons. Number one, I wanted to be able to test all of these tools and actually use them in the shop and give my opinion to you to help you make a better buying decision. I feel like if I'm able to do that, I would love to be able to help you out. Number two is it's my job. I'm, this is what I do for a living. I test these tools. I use these tools in the shop. I build things with them. While I don't always video the builds, I'm still building things and using them in the shop. So I wanna be able to test these and give you my opinion back on all of these tools. And a lot of these tools we give away to our 2 before Nation, who are our direct supporters on Patreon and channel memberships. And we do regular giveaways just for them on a lot of this stuff. So I'm not hoarding all of these tools while I keep them for a while to get a good feel of them, know how they're gonna work, make sure they're a good solid tool. We do give these away, most of them, some of them but I like Milwaukee's. I got deals on all this pack out stuff. I didn't buy none of this at full price. None of those other tools at full price. I always wait for a deal. If you like finding deals as much as I do, I share those deals with you. All you gotta do is text deals to the number on the screen when I find an amazing deal on DeWalt, Rigid, Roby, Bosch, Milwaukee, whatever, all kinds of tools. I'll let you know through that deal alert if it's a fantastic deal. If it's just an average everyday deal, I probably won't say anything. I'm not gonna spam you. And the last reason Milwaukee is the top brand for 2023 is their innovation. You gotta check out the patent video that I did where I found their secret stuff. They've got this pack out compatible folding workbench that they're working on. They've already patented it. They've also got some bit stopping technology in their routers coming and much more. Check out that video right there.